Oh, it is a bit heavy. What is it? This is the latest and greatest, the most spec Denon receiver for 2019. It has all kinds of features. All kinds. Check it out the box. Check it out. It has Dolby Atmos, IMAX DTS, DTS X, DTS Virtual X, Odyssey, that's the Denon thing, HDMI, 4K upscaler and 4K pass through, HDR, HDCP 2.3, Dolby Vision, I don't know what this is, <laughs> Natural uh, View, Apple Apray, Bluetooth, Hells, High Res Audio, Network Wi Fi, Music, Deezer, Napster, SoundCloud, Spotify, Tidal, Tune In, Multizone. I don't know what, what this even is. Creston connected, okay. Alexa, Denon AVR certificate. Everything you need in 2019 and 20. So, what do we have? Denon remote. Hmm. Looks like a brush aluminum. Camera focus, please. This is RC1228 model. Feels very nice. For two AAA batteries. Very nice. Of course, battery. Quick start guide. See what's inside. Okay. Okay. This is a Denon thing. Of course, the guide is in a few languages, Polish, Russian, Slovakia, Espanol, this is not, this is a, uh, okay, Netherlands, I have no idea, Espanol, Italiano, French, Deutsch and English, okay, very nice manual, with good pictures, very simple and easy. This is, let me. Bluetooth antenna. Radio antenna, FM antenna, and AM antenna. Oops, oops, yes. If someone use it, so you have this in the package. I think now internet radio is ready to go. Okay, those are the stickers, so you can labor your cables, if you want. I really don't use this, but uh, it's a very nice from then on. You know. Very nice. What do we have here? Mm, what is it? I think it's warranty cards. Yes, this is it. And radio information. Okay, let's put it aside. And this is a car uh, cardboard tripod. What is this for? There's an explanation here. So you use this for calibration your denim audio. There's a microphone somewhere, I think it's in here, there it is. This is a microphone for sound calibration. Uh, there you go, there you go. This is the mic, pretty small one. With very long cable. It has a mounting for a tripod, but if you don't have a tripod, you can use this uh, 
cardboard tripod. You just connect the things and use it as a, as a tripod. You, got it? you understand? Very easy and very nice from then. Of course, I have a tripod, so I really don't need this cardboard. Cardboard, my English, not that great. On the bottom, there was a power cable, normal power cable for two pins. This is a European version. In your country, you will get a different cable if you have a different socket. In your country, of course. UK and US will give a proper cable. Dimensions first, we will do it in centimeters, 43 and a half centimeter. Maybe if I show you to the camera, 43 and a half. Now, like this, we have 33 and a half to this position, and with the knob. We have 36 centimeters, 14 inches. In here, maybe if I show you like this, we have uh, 17 centimeters, almost 7 inches, almost 6.6, I think. Okay. So we have the dimensions. We have those pins here for speakers. So the whole thing is 39 centimeters, 15 and a half inches. You need at least 40 centimeters and 15 and a half inches in your cabin. Put your receiver in. Yes. Now, what's on the chassis? Tuner. This is for the tuner. Zone 2. Zone 2 sons. Dimmer. Status. 1 CBR SAT. 2 Blu ray. 3 media player. For house music. Phone. Setup mic. Sticker. HDMI. 4K and usb 5 volts 1 amp and the power button knob for select a source it has this vibration there and huge knob for volume it also has this strange hmm Okay, a bit wobbly, like you can see in here, also a bit wobbly, okay, there's also some view of the electronics inside, unfortunately I cannot open this device, I don't have the permission to open it, Denon, says on the power transformer you can see i don't know if you're able to see it but it looks very nice and i see small fan right there i hope it won't be noisy there is a fan inside bluetooth antenna for wi-fi this is a coaxial input an optical input two of them to a co two coaxial network HDMI inputs and HDMI outputs for zone 2, main monitor and monitor 2. A lot of zones, my friend, a lot of zones. FM antenna and AM antenna, DC 12 volt, trigger out. Anyone use this in 2020? I don't think so. Remote control in and out, that's nice. Video in for Blu ray. Components, 
Phono Signal Ground it's a Signal Ground oh, very unusual but, but you have it if you want it's high end stuff you, you understand okay and this is audio in assignable and pre outs subwoofer now we have a speakers front right front left center surround right surround left surround right back surround left back back left <laughs> height and height number two i think you can assemble this for the uh, second zone and the power very nice of course the antenna for bluetooth is all is also on the other side if you want to compare receivers go to zkelectronics.com site i'll put the link in the description of this video and in here you can compare all kinds of receivers just type the receiver here on this uh, bar maybe 4500 that's the last year 4000 singers from Denon and in here you can compare them with uh, extraordinarily details they have everything here all kinds of information okay let's go back to the studio okay so welcome to my studio we will test video and audio on this huge screen let's do it at first we are greeted in this menu we can choose a language of course english now it will ask us about the experience okay next do we have everything yes we have everything Pause the video if you want to read this. Now we need to set up our speakers. Hit next. Okay. We have more than nine speakers. Unfortunately, no. Okay, this is how you connect your speakers. Cables. This is very simple stuff okay all the connection do you have a center speaker of course i do do you have a surround speaker of course i do Hit next do you have surround back speakers unfortunately no i don't do you have a ceiling speaker yes i do front top top middle top rear rear height I have top middle. Okay. Okay. Do you have a subwoofer? Of course. But only one. You understand. Okay, so we will connect this to the in, to the output number one in the back of the device. This is my setup. Of course your setup could be different. Next we will verify that your speakers are connected okay hit next subwoofer is on yes 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 everything works now we need to ready a microphone for the acoustic. As you can see, microphone is on a tripod, just like that. That's the mic. Now we will press next, and we need to connect microphone to your device. Okay, connected. Hit next. Subwoofer is on. Hit next. Okay. Now we need to hit next and set your microphone in the correct position.
position like it's on the picture. Microphone is set on the correct position. Begin testing. Now it's good to leave the room. Your subwoofer level is too high. Now you see how precise is the software, the Odyssey software. It will detect everything. So we need to lower down volume on the subwoofer and continue. Now, when it's on the green, we'll hit next. Okay, let's continue. Now it's detecting a setup. Yes, this is correct. Let's hit next. And now place the microphone on a different position. So you put the microphone on a different position. I have another microphone out there, but this is a studio, so it's a little bit tight here. Now let's press continue. Okay, so the analyze is complete. Now hit continue. All this a dynamic QA. Maintains bass clarity and surround sound and the low volume listening and enjoyed late night movies and television. Turn on the now. Yeah, why not? Now it is analyzing your room, applying room corrections now. It goes very quick. Beautiful speakers, everything is 100% uh, now. It continues. First obvious question. Is it going to pass through audio and video via HDMI when it's turned off? Now it's off. Screen goes black. Resetting. And it's on. So the answer is yes. Let's hit options. I'm trying to be quick now because this video is getting too long. Sorry for that. This is upscale footage to 4K 60 frames per second. We have channel level adjustment, tone, picture. If you are using pass through option, this will not be available. And all zones. No, thank you. Now we have also a sound mode on the remote. Can you see it here? Sound modes. If we hit movies, we can change the sound mode. Music. Of course, we can also change the sound mode. All kind of different sound modes. Game and direct. Pure direct. And auto. Now, if we go to menu setup, this upscale to 4K setup looks very nice. Hit audio. So, not all options are highlighted because of the uh, setting we did area. It depends on the on the area settings. It will highlight your setting. <laughs> I hope you understand me. Central level adjustment, sub buffer level adjustment, surround parameter, restore, audio delay, Turn on on off, audio delay on on off, of course, volume, you can change it to decibels, I prefer decibels, let's leave it like this, limit up to 20. Odyssey, I turn off the Odyssey right now, so we can uh, see the graphic equalizer. We can turn it on. 
left or right or each or all and this is the equalizer it looks very nice you can choose all kinds of different equalization <laughs> or set to default let's check all the same you can turn it off or turn it on reference LR bypass flat or off I think the best one is reference dynamic AQ reference level up to 15 decibels dynamic volume heavy medium and even enough and all the say LFC and you can go all the way to 7 it will cut off your low frequencies so if you like your neighbors go to 7 if you don't care about the neighbors like I do I turn it off completely I want this bass there punch let's go back now quick to video adjust the picture it's on when it's uh, upscaling footage now it's uh, pass through so it's turned off HDMI setup there you can see it's pass through you can change it arc okay go you can change the monitor dual leave it on with one this is when you turn on your upscaler up to 4k 5060 let's turn it off and video mode leave an auto on screen display bottom info and always on 4k signal format standard and a chest leave like this ntv format ntsc opel leave an ntsc inputs inputs assigned so you can assign your inputs let's try to be quicker because this is uh, a lot of features high source source level speakers all the same setup you can check the results the distance and everything okay let's go back manual setup can what is it okay a lot of different setups even 11 to 1 with a pre-outs yes all kind of different settings we can get we, we can have here let's leave it let's uh, leave it like uh, maybe not like this I need to like this yeah this is now maybe not even like this for me the best one will be yeah this one no because i have a ceiling Yeah, this will be the best one for me. Speaker configuration. You can change it to large or small, or one or two subwoofer. None or two. Distance. Level cross base and front speaker a b or a b very nice network all kind of different settings house account 
do we have it or do we disconnect it uh, no we just we need to assign a house account earlier i mean later general language echo mode bluetooth transmitter okay so you can connect your headphones zone 2 all kinds of different settings zone rename quick select names trigger out front display firmware add new features information so the firmware information this is my firmware okay notifications usage data save and load setup lock and reset and of course setup assistance language speaker setup speaker calibration network input setup and mobile apps okay that's the quick review of this menu it's a pretty good menu a lot of different settings i don't want to bore you i already bore you for six minutes sorry for that airplay 2 let's check it out bluetooth let's hit start this is my video okay this is via the phone now let's uh, put it on the device Apple Bluetooth. This is Denon. We check the description on the store and it says 200 watts, 300 watts. Okay, no delay. It's with the subwoofer. The description says all the power, so with the subwoofer. So, subwoofer. Okay, now we are about 12 meters in a different room. Three walls, concrete walls. Check it out now. Sometimes they, they don't sound okay. too much bass, and, and the, the house and mix are pretty bad. Too much noise. You want, and this one has 120 with no subwoofer. What's like you just saw, there is no delay in audio, everything is sync and ready. Let's try Heos, Spotify. Yeah, is it going to work? Yeah, we have a den on here on a huge screen. That is very nice. That's the Spotify right there. We are airplay. Now, can we control this uh, TV through the receiver and receiver through the TV? We hit here. Oh, yeah. Source, setup, and everything. I'm using a different brand TV remote. I can go to the menu. And choose all kinds of different things. I will test this receiver with all kinds of different music pop, rock, metal, maybe some classics, and we'll see how good it is. But at first, let's see with what kind of power we are dealing here. We have no copyright sound. <laughs> very clean but my ears are ringing that's how loud it is it's not a big studio but it has all kinds of power all kinds of course youtube is strong in the copyright department so i cannot show you everything uh, let me show you just a small clip i cannot show you video just audio small clip from superman 
Watch this world suffer the consequences. Man, this is awesome. Yes, it has so much power in home cinema. You are like in a real cinema. Now let me go back to a proper testing. Of course, it, this will be done with off camera because of the copyright issue with uh, YouTube, you understand. Okay, so what's the conclusion? What about the sound quality? Well, Denon is a really, has a really dark sound, warm sound, when Onkyo is a complete opposite, very bright sound. How can I explain a sound through video? Hmm. Well, comparing to cars, when Onkyo is like a Ferrari, quick explosions, you understand, very fun. For home cinema, you've got this big punch, boom, boom, bass is punch your head and neck, boom. And then it's like a Royce Royce right, very smooth, comfortable, very nice to your ears. But like a Royce Royce has V12 engines and a lot of power, when you need this power, when you need this home cinema punch, it's there. It will punch you like a sleeper, punch you very nice. You can you can feel the bass in your in your in your throat. How can I how can I explain this? It's awesome. And it's very close to the real cinema. When you go to the good Dolby Atmos cinema, it's a very close experience. Of course, you need good acoustics in your room. Because it doesn't matter how good the uh, receiver and speakers are, when you don't have r good acoustics in your room, it, it will not sound great. Odyssey software, it's a magical software. If you're not an engineer, if you have a trouble to set your speakers, this will give you optimal speakers and it's very very accurate it's uh, it's a magical software what can i say very nice there's also a sony receivers yamaha receivers sony is also in the darker side yamaha is something in the middle so i think if you like comfortable sound pleasant to your ear sound not too harsh sound for it's good for music you understand Denon is the receiver to go I like it and I think I will buy it yes I think I will buy it now I had the Sony and Onkyo I just yeah I buy a Denon myself yeah Okay, I think that's it. I will put the link in the description so of this video so we can ch check out the prices and everything. It's a very nice device. Very nice. Yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye. Sorry for the long video, but you understand. This uh, Denon has a lot of features and I didn't talk about about every of them because this video will be extremely long so you have to check it out yourself thanks for watching and goodbye